has officially started. The confetti has been thrown. Joe Mazzula and his family just went by. There is Al Horford and his father, Tito, who has been a fixture, Glenn, Absolutely. on the sidelines. What a day. What an absolutely spectacular day. Brad Stevens coming in next. And then Chris stops for Zingas. is supposed to be on this orange one someplace. There are the first duck boats going down Causeway Street. We're going to duck down so that you can get a better look as those duck boats go by. This is the procession beginning for the rolling rally that is going to now leave Causeway Street and head over to the City Hall Plaza where J.C. Monahan is. Joe Mazzula is on that front boat. It's maroon. He is leading the team in this rolling rally training. Which is absolutely fitting because he led this team to their 18th banner. And a lot of people, much like the Jays, wondered whether or not a 35-year-old, at the time 34-year-old, unproven head coach could bring another title to this town. Joe Mazzulla's uh, tactics, sometimes unconventional, but man, did he get the most out of this team. And so many people have come out here to wish this team well and show their appreciation for a spectacular season. They were the best team in basketball all season long finishing the championship run in the postseason at 16 and 3 it was a tremendous accomplishment and here on causeway street there are people lined from the barricade all the way to the building we just saw our pal scow go by as we're expecting there to be a couple of duck boats training with celtics legends on board the, the trophy you're seeing right there is actually the 2008 world champion. Those are the legends. You saw Brian Scalabrini, Eddie House, Paul Pierce on that boat. They are honoring not only the present, but also the past. And Trenny, look who it is. It's Jason Tatum holding the Larry O'Brien trophy, pulling out of the garage here at TD Garden. And he's followed by a truck carrying confetti. And the crowd is at its loudest point that we've heard. As Jason Tatum is seen on the top of that duck boat. I'm not sure I have ever seen Jason Tatum smile bigger than he is smiling right now, except of course at the end of game five when he exclaimed, we finally did it, we finally did it. One of the best moments of the entire run was when he picked up his son Deuce, tossed him into the confetti, and then hugged his mom Brandy, who has been beside him every way. say on social media earlier this week that he was out playing golf and everyone he saw called him champ and I think he's really falling in love with that experience and that's great to hear as a Boston Celtics fan because we want to see him do it again absolutely and this team you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself but it's certainly poised to do it again with all of these guys expected to come back and there's the other MVP the real MVP Jalen Brown MVP of the Eastern Conference Finals chance for Jalen Brown who has proved his doubters wrong from the beginning Glenn this is a guy who when he was drafted the garden crowd booed the pick they did not know who he was and he has ended up bringing banner 18 back to Boston he was a number three pick in that draft of course Trenny and the same was true for Jason Tatum in his draft and you know what we go all the way back to Al Horford's draft he was also a number three pick and all of those players together have helped this city get banner 18. Yeah, I saw an interview with Jason Tatum the other day. He was asked what his favorite number is, and he said three. He was born in March, which is the third month of the year. He was the number three overall pick. It really is fitting that these guys, the number three picks, have brought it home. And now we have Derek White. It looks like he's holding his son there as he comes out of the garden building. He is a player that was so critical for this team. He helped uh, solve a piece of the puzzle that they hadn't been able to solve. And I really think the city has fallen in love with Derek White, especially in this postseason, that last game when his face got smashed yeah. into the floor and he broke his tooth. Yes, if any of you are noticing that Derek White has all of his front teeth, he told our Abby Chin before the ceremony today that he's had some temporary dental work done. A shout out to Boston Dental for doing that for him. Well done. So he's going to be spent in the dentist chair about three hours already. Probably some more time because they're all just temporary right now. But you can't miss 
that smile on Derek White's face. What a gamer, what a tough player, and he brought something that this team desperately needed. Props to Brad Stevens for seeing the need to bring a player like Derek White to Boston. We're expecting 23 duck boats in all. There are some other vehicles that make up the caravan, including confetti and music. You have that great sound happening now, and I think I'm looking at Peyton Pritchard yes. there <laughs> having a sip of something delicious. It looks like a light beer as he rolls by in this green duck boat, and of course, everyone is excited to see him after hitting that amazing half-court shot uh, They're in actually pointing the out to game. Peyton Pritchard right now. There are crowd, there are t-shirts in the crowd that say, Pritch, please. Do you guys get it at home? Pritch, please. I love it. And Peyton Pritchard, one of the guys, or one of the gals on his boat, tapped him, and he gave the guy a shout-out because, how do you not love that t-shirt, Glenn? I want one of my own. I want one as well. Listen, Causeway Street even on a game night, has not had as much energy as all of us are experiencing right now. It is wall-to-wall, -wall people. Everybody is having a fantastic time. The weather is great, and they're getting the chance to show their appreciation for the 2024 NBA champion, Boston Celtics. Whatever your business needs, Vistaprint can print it. Yeah, Vistaprint. Like, Rachel needed fun packaging. So Vistaprint designed and printed new stickers, tape, and thank you cards. Bye. Corley and Ducky needed to get their brand out there. So they printed new t-shirts, bottles, and caps. And Tasha, well, she needed a total refresh. So Vistaprint made her a new logo. And that, 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 all that. Because with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers at Vistaprint.com. All right, the duck boats continue to roll, and Manash is down amongst it all. Manash, what's up? Well, we're all getting excited over here, okay? We've seen so many duck boats. We're all getting to this. It's getting crazy around here, and I'm here with my friend Anthony. He's from Rhode Island. This is his first parade ever. Is it living up to your expectations? Yes. What's been the best part so far? The parade. How many people do you see here? Talk about how crazy it is. Millions. Tons. Tons of people. And you got that perspective, of course. Now we're going to go to an older fan. He's, he's been here before. What number of parade is this for you? This is my first Celtics parade. Oh, this is your first Celtics parade, but you've been to other parades before? A uh, Patriots parade. Talk to me about this one and just the difference between, you know, being out here in the summer. It's just far better than the Patriots parade. More excitement, more hype. It's great. Are you surprised this many people came out? I am. I am surprised. I am surprised. I, I couldn't expect it. We got here like at 8 o'clock this morning, and it was packed. So oh, Man, 16 years ago. It's been a while, but to while. finally see them do it again, how does it feel? It feels great. I'm from the uh, Havlicek Kuzi era. <laughs> so uh, it's great to see the young guys pull it out. Well, I guess you're a young man, too. Yes. Right now, we're live amongst the crowd. Of course, they're a little bit busy right now, but you can hear them getting loud. It's a fun atmosphere, and we're just living through it. Right now, we're live here in Boston, Manash Kogwari, NBC10 Boston. Now we're going to toss it back to you. Okay, Manash, thank you very much. We're continuing to see all 23 of these duck boats leave TD Garden right now. We think the final duck boat is pulling out of this area. So let's walk you through the parade route really quickly so you understand where this caravan is going. After it leaves Causeway Street here in the shadow of the Boston TD Garden, it is heading over to Government Center where it will go by City Hall. And for the first time, Trini, go by the statue of Bill Russell, which was erected in 2022. A great Boston Celtic, and I hope um, the players get a moment to reflect on that as they're moving by City Hall Plaza. Yeah, I mean, this is a team, I think, that really appreciates history, appreciates what this 
franchise means to the city of Boston, but also to the entire NBA. This is a, a historic franchise. This is a franchise that won eight consecutive titles from the 50s into the 60s. They won again back to back in the 60s. They won in the 80s. And then they had a drought, but they brought it back in 2008. And again, 16 years later, uh, they have won another championship, 18. And the reason 18 is so important um, is because it is one more than the Los Angeles Lakers. That's right. Nobody would like to add to that title and give a little more distance than the, than the folks of Boston. As it makes the Boston Celtics the winningest NBA franchise in history, and that is another reason why this parade today is so special. You know, before this started, Mayor Wu and her staff were expecting a million people. I've talked to you today, Trenny, who have seen so many parades in this city. You're not going to be surprised if we oh, exceed one million people. This is, and listen, I, I, I'm not great at math, Glenn, but I think That's I can why tell. We do this. But I think I can tell a good crowd. Uh, this is by far the largest crowd I have seen yet for a parade that I have covered in the city of Boston. I'm sure some of it has to do with the weather and kids being out of school, but I also think that, listen, everyone loved the six titles from the Patriots, right? But after a while, they came, okay, yeah, this is great. Yeah, they won there. a game. Yeah. Even with the uh, even with the, the um, with the Boston Red Sox, they won enough four, but then they won an eight, 13, and again an 18. So there wasn't a long time in between. These diehard Celtics fans have been waiting 16 years to see their favorite players roll through the city, and they are basking in it today. That green duck boat you see right there is holding Peyton Pritchard, and you can see that he's signing hats and tossing basketballs into the crowd. This is the caravan that now is approaching City Hall Plaza. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg is on one of these duck boats. Let's check in with him to see how this rolling rally is moving through the city of Boston. Really just unbelievable, Glenn, this sea of green and white that we have seen. The cheering that we saw as soon as we left TD Garden. So we are on Old Gloria here. Mike, we talked to you earlier, the captain. Yes. What do you think? I threw a party once when I was 20 years old in my apartment and 100 people showed up, and this is way bigger than that. This is insane. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe the amount of people right now. And if you look outside here as we continue to talk to Mike, you see the vantage point the players that are going to see as they come down the street here outside Causeway. And all the cheering people of just how deep this is, block after block, as we continue down the course right here. Can you believe just how many people are out here? I don't know how this many people are in here having fun. You it just, it's, it's amazing. This is, like, this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be big, and it's 10 times as big as I thought it was going to be, right off the bat. This is nuts. And as we continue up Cambridge Street here, you can see through just how many people are greeting these players. You know, talking to the players, including Al Horford, Yesterday, he was talking about how he didn't know what to expect when he got out here. He said he was trying to have very low expectations, but he was still very excited. You have to imagine seeing all of this, the constant cheering, the roar of the crowd, everyone lined up here cheering, that this has to blow away the players. And I think this gives you a sense of just how much the city has wrapped their arms around this team through the playoffs and then the NBA Finals. Even just yesterday, Al Horford stopping at the Raising Canes on Boylston Street. Hundreds of people were there. Some had lined up as early as 7 in the morning just for a chance to see Al Horford. So you take that yesterday and you magnify that times a million and you can see all the people here that are cheering. It really is unreal. And we talked earlier about the history of the duck boats and it really was an idea by then Thomas Menino, the mayor. 2002, they were looking to mark the Patriots winning the Super Bowl that year with Tom Brady, but they were really worried about having a rally where just all the people would come to one location. So what they did instead was say, hey, let's do this rolling rally idea. A, it will allow people from all over a chance to see these players as we come through town, and B, what better way than to use the iconic duck bows? It's such a part of Boston. And so the idea was had to put the players on duck boats, and it also is a great form of crowd control because it allows everyone to see the players 
on the back of the duck boats, while at the same time keeping them away. So it really was an indigenous idea. And talking with Jill Burns, who used to be the deputy chief of staff, Julie Burns rather, and she said, other cities have since copied Boston. It really was Boston that led the way with this idea of having a rolling rally like what we are seeing right now. So it is just amazing. To see. Eli, I'm stealing the show from you right now. I have to steal the show because the duck boats are coming by. The people are going nuts. We saw Joe Missoula. We saw the big man himself who's looking healthy on the duck boats. And there it is. There is the trophy flying high. How proud are we for Banner 18? We believe in Boston is right. People are in the windows. The crowd is fantastic. Our people are loving it. This team has worked so hard to get to this point. I know you've been hearing that all morning. You've probably been hearing that all week. But it really has been. And we're waiting for the next round of duck boats. And the confetti is flying. I've done a lot of rolling rallies. I have to say this very well might be my favorite. The fans are really into it. I don't think there is anyone in this crowd, if they're not sporting Celtics gear, they're in the green. Everyone is committed to this team and to celebrate. I love watching this, and I hope you guys do at home as well. All right, who are we going to next? Because I'm waiting for these duck boats to come our way. All right, we're going to get a quick word from our sponsor. Don't go anywhere. Wait until you see the next duck boat that's coming up. It's a big one. Stay right there. <laughs> At TD Bank, we see millions of transactions, but it's the humans behind them that matter most. It's why we're leaders, with guidance and solutions that put people at the center. That's how every TD employee helps make our bank the greet you and your dog by your name, open longer when you need us kind of place. Because believing people matter most is how we're making banking unexpectedly human. Yeah, it'd be great if she could come down too. Um, Hey guys, we are out here at uh, City Hall. We're up here on the City Council President's balcony with a lot of the city staff who have sort of made their way onto this very small balcony space overlooking the parade route, which of course uh, goes right by all of the different buildings, whether it's on the federal side, whether it's on the city side, the state side, are all sort of in this area. And we're seeing the duck boats coming by. You can see the thousands of fans lining the parade route. In fact, just a minute ago, we saw uh, the NBA Final Championship uh, trophy go going by on one of these duck boats. I mentioned this is the balcony of City, Pre City Council President uh, Ruth Z. Louis-Jean. She's off camera, but I'm going to ask her a few questions as well. Just tell me what it means to see, I guess, the balcony packed with everybody watching this great parade. It just, it's, a, it's a really joyous occasion. Uh, it's just a, a day when all of us in the city of Boston are just so happy and proud of our Celtics. You know, we're we a banner city. They brought us Banner 18. We have the most banners of any NBA team. So I'm just really, really proud of this team of Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, the thing is everyone and all the work that they did to bring us here so that the city of Boston can be lit up with this joy. Um, I'm so proud to be from here. And I know that everyone who worked for the city, it's just a really proud moment for all of us, uh, for people who have been here, who have lived here for a week or those who have lived here for five generations. It's a moment of joy that we can all share, right? Sports can really help to bring people together, really bring us all. We share the same rally and cry. And today that just joy is on every corner and in every neighborhood and uh, the team has been so good about bringing the trophy out to Dorchester to the North End to all of our neighborhoods so it's just really special. You mentioned every single neighborhood do you feel like this team well represents the city of Boston and, and all the different pieces of it? Oh, 100%. And what's really great about this team is that you see them so often out in community. You see Jalen out in community. You see Al Horford out. You see these folks out in community. And so I, I do feel like they represent Boston. They also represent a desire to really do the work of continuing to build a Boston that is diverse and inclusive. And when we're addressing issues like closing the racial wealth gap, Jalen Brown has actually talked a lot about that, about using his own power and his wealth and his position to really do the work of uh, fighting for communities, black and brown communities. So I think it's 
just a really special moment when you have a team that is also not just playing basketball, right? They're more than just ballers. They're advocates, they're activists, they're community members. That's perfect. Thank you so much, of Council course. President. Of course, thank you. She invited us up here. We're thankful that she did. I can hear shipping up to Boston playing, and I bet Oscar Margain can hear it loud and clear where he is. Yeah, that's right. We're having a party out here. It's so exciting. Oh, my God. The MVP right over there, passing right by in front of City Hall. That is right. We keep hearing the chants. Hear it, hear it right now. Jalen Brown, MVP. As a Boston Celtics fan myself, I am ecstatic. And everybody out here is so happy. So many smiles, honestly. I just even can't contain myself. Uh, it's so exciting. It's so such an awesome moment, my God. And everybody is feeling it. Everybody's feeling the confetti out in the air. See the MVP. We just saw Jason Tatum earlier right now. My God, it's just, I don't know what else to say. Everybody's got a smile here. It's really a unique opportunity to see Boston so happy and for a very good reason. This championship belongs to the city and a band like myself just cannot have enough of this, honestly. And we have more and more floats here. Everybody trying to take a snapshot with their cell phone right now. We got D. White, my favorite player. <laughs> oh my god yeah all right guys i am geeking out oh cans are being tossed now so into the crowd i hope that doesn't hurt anybody but oh my god some of the best players here from the starting roster just passing right in front of us right now here in city hall i'm gonna send it back to you guys i'm going to toss to tevin wooden I believe he's over at the Gom in Tevin. How's it look over there? Oscar. Oscar, are you? <laughs> Oscar, I feel like you right now, my man, are literally in heaven in a sea of green. We are here right along Boylston and Charles Street. And let me tell you, the crowd is anxiously awaiting. Everybody's excited. Let's go, Boston. Let's go. You got people on top of the Starbucks over here hanging out of windows right now. You've got people lining the streets. Of course, you can see some of the uh, confetti that's already started to fall early on. We're still waiting for, of course, the duck boat parade to make it here, which I think we may be less than 20 minutes in right now. The 2024 NBA champion, of course, a lot of folks celebrating with champagne showers like the players are. It's been so far a lovely day today, a beautiful day today. Still, folks have stretched all the way down here. Can you guys see us? Yeah? I love that flag. There have been a couple of flags, by the way. Speaking of flags, there have been a couple that say believe in Boston. And I think that really just sets the tone, sets the mood of what today is all about. We believe in Boston. We believe in the Celtics. We believe in everything that the city has to offer to see so many different people, different ages, different religions, different creeds, different backgrounds, different shapes, different sizes, different colors, all joined together for one reason, to celebrate the 2024 world champions, the NBA champions, our champions, the Boston Celtics. And it's a lovely day, too, by the way. I know that we had a lot of heat hanging out in the forecast today. That's moved on. A couple of breezes coming through right now. The temperature's starting to fall down into the upper 70s, really setting the scene. And every once in a while, it's quite interesting to watch. You'll get a police officer or a cruiser that just goes down the street, and all of a sudden, people will just swarm, swarm this area. Let's go to JC right now. Hey, guys, let's go to JC right now. JC, where are you at? What are you seeing? I know it's so much fun right now. Part of it, Tevin. Just saw Peyton Pritchard. The man played four seconds, got the greatest shot, 49 feet, and he is celebrating with a cigar and flashing his ring, and well, he should. We saw Jason Tatum go by and Jalen Brown, and the crowd goes nuts when they see the trophies. And this is how Boston does it. We have the confetti flying, the music is playing, and this crowd is here for it. I hope at home you're really getting a sense of this because it really is special to celebrate a championship here. This is our 13th rolling rally. Before this, if you can imagine a million, million and a half people gathering at City Hall to see their team. At least now we spread it out over two miles. I'm not even wanting to interrupt it. This parade, it has reached its 
peak here at City Hall. We're coming closer to the end. Man, people have their swag. They are decked out. We did see uh, Derek White start to throw cans into the into the crowd. Now we got Brissette. And I love it when I see the players themselves taking photos of us, of the crowd, to remember it. We want to remember them. They want to remember this moment. It's fantastic. Loving everything about this. Oh, and uh, if I'm still on, a shout out to my co-anchor, Corey. Corey's home on paternity leave, and he's a Dallas fan. Well, Corey, this is how you do it. Sorry, my friends. All right, Michael Holly. To you and Priscilla, that duck boat. Hey, JC, thanks. We'll take it from here. I mean, you really have to hold your ears because yeah. the crowd here is so loud. We just saw uh, Missoula go by. Really interesting fact here. I heard on NBC Sports Boston the other day. This season, he started with his new coaches. He decided to do a coaches retreat here in the city of Boston. They all got dinner in Boston. They stayed at a hotel in Boston. And you guessed it, they went on a duck boat here in Boston because he said he felt like that these coaches should know the history of the city and really be intertwined and get them all on the same page. It's a really shrewd move on his part. You know, Joe Mazzula grew up in Rhode Island, so he understands Celtics history. And that's kind of a twist on what Doc Rivers did before the 2008 season where he took Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen on a duck boat and told them this is what it's going to be like when you win a championship here. And we saw Pierce going by, celebrating like he just won, and he was a Finals MVP 16 years ago. And that's the beauty of the Celtics. It's the institutional knowledge, and it's just generation to generation of Celtics players. They're excited for these guys as if they were out there on the court. You saw Missoula, another nod to history, wearing a Bill Russell T-shirt and signing a basketball for a guy in the audience who's standing there right now, I'm looking at him, wearing a Larry Bird jersey. So, so many connections, so many layers when you root for the Celtics. And you, you got to talk about, like, some of the greats, right? Al Horford finally winning a championship, adding that to the resume. You have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown working together for years, finally able to do this together. What goes through your mind on a day like today? All the hard work paying off? Yeah, like all the hard work paying off, Priscilla, but, you know, when Danny Ainge signed Al Horford, he told him, you can win a championship somewhere else, but there's nothing like winning in Boston. And that's right. Even though you think about winning a championship, there's no way you can prepare for what we see today, what we're experiencing today. It doesn't happen anywhere else. I know. We're lucky to be here. We want to get a quick check of our sponsors. Whatever your business needs, Vistaprint can print it. Yeah, Vistaprint. Like, Rachel needed fun packaging. So Vistaprint designed and printed new stickers, tape, and thank you cards. Bye. Corley and Ducky needed to get their brand out there. So they printed new t-shirts, bottles, and caps. And Tasha, well, she needed a total refresh. So Vistaprint made her a new logo. And that, 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 all that. Because with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers at Vistaprint.com. Welcome back. We are watching these duck boats as they roll down here along Boston Common on Tremont Street. They're going to make a right onto Boylston and finish the home stretch here. Who do we have coming up? Jason Tatum. Oh, there we yeah. go. Jason Tatum blowing his trademark kiss to the crowd. And, you know, what's so great, what's so great, Priscilla, is that he's a guy who had to come through the adversity of being here a lot of people two years ago. All right, we want to go to Eli Rosenberg. How is it like where you are? Hey, so we are on a duck boat. Look at this crowd out here. And it really just is amazing. People for as far as you can see. And I want to give you some perspective if we come this way. Excuse us real quick. You have a moment to talk with us on NBC Live. What do you think of this so far? It, it, it is amazing. You know, it's 
I think there's moments like these that you can feel the energy of a city. Uh, it's moments like these where, regardless of people's background or economic status, we all feel like we belong to the city of Boston. And so I'm excited to be a part of this float with the Celtics to celebrate Boston. It's, a, it's an embracing of our city. I love what you did there. Moment of truth here. What were your expectations? What do you think? I'm overwhelmed. Like, having, you know, I've, I've been being around all of my life. live. We just saw Joe Mazzul and his family riding by on the duck boat. What an experience for him. How about Al Horford rocking the cowboy hat with his family? I mean, they have been with him through and through this whole season. You just have to be so happy for a guy like Al Horford. Absolutely. A dad of four. And then as we look at the next duck boat heading on by right now, it's been a mix. 23 duck boats riding by. Definitely more than a million fans. This is what it's like to be in an army of one million Celtic fans. All unified under this banner 18. Nothing brings a city together like a championship, and we're so used to this by now. I know it's been since 2018. We haven't seen a parade, but Latoya, you're Dorchester strong. You've seen plenty of these. What is this one like? That is, this is so many people. Right. Well, let me tell you, I was here back in 2008, and you know what? It didn't feel like this. This feels different. Banner 18, we are so hungry. We're so thirsty for it. Title Town is in full effect again. 16 long years they've waited. They have built up for this. You're looking at Derek White, and this is just one of the cornerstone pieces brought in the last couple of years to get this team a title. Derek White lost his tooth. He said he would have lost all of them for a championship. <laughs> this man delivered on so many different levels coming from San Antonio in a trade. I don't think he ever expected something like this. Yet here's Derek White now on the duck boat in Boston embracing the city and the city embracing him. And I love how they pass the trophy from duck boat to duck boat so everybody gets a chance to put their hands on it. Every player, whether they're the, the premier lead star or someone else, and they hold it up so high, and we as fans love them so much. This is about showing them love after them giving us an amazing season. It is unbelievable. Latoya Edwards, I'm Raul Martinez. We're in Copley Square right on Boylston Street. It is an unbelievable sight so far. Let's toss it over to our meteorologist in the morning, Tevin Wooten, our partner in crime. Tevin, how's it looking on your end? Street, and I have not seen a louder crowd in Boston until this very moment. There is so much, there's so much joy on people's faces. You've got young people crying. You've got old people crying. Well, seasoned people crying. I think one of the most touching moments that I just witnessed was Al Horford's father on the duck boat with him, and you could see the passion. You could see the excitement on his face. How proud he was um, of his son. Uh, we have seen so much support staff come through as well on the, the second and third and fourth duck boats. And I think that's very important, too. You know, the Celtics, is a, it's a very large organization. The players are one part of that. You've got support staff, managers, videographers, communications people, personal trainers. Everybody did their job this season to make sure the Celtics came home victorious. Home victorious. A brief lull at the moment, uh, but a couple of folks have still really just the, the cheers that people have really erupted in. It's just it's so remarkable to see. Uh, people are standing up on some of the pillars here uh, near the Boston Common. There are flags every which way. Everyone is united in two colors, green and white. That today brings everybody together for this one purpose, and to see it all up front, to see it all just, just unfold in really the most poetic way for the Celtics this season has been tremendous. We've got a couple more boats that way. I want to go to the other side of the common uh, with Priscilla and Michael Holly. You guys, I think they should be to you guys pretty soon if they're not already there, right? Yes, Tevin. Oh, my gosh. What a party here. The confetti is falling from the skies. Beers are being thrown. I mean, it is a shower here as well. The heat not affecting anybody today. What a great parade. It, it, 
sights are seen. You can tell the players are really enjoying it. We're seeing a side of players that we haven't seen before. You know, Jalen Brown is usually a very serious guy. He's enjoying it. He's leading the child and crowd and let's go chance. You see Jason Tatum encouraging the crowd to give him more. Derek White throwing some liquor into the crowd <laughs> and receiving some as well. It's a great atmosphere from a lot of people. Oh my gosh. You know, I know we were saying maybe a million people. This might be more. I think so. Celtics fans really coming out. All generations. You're, and as you said, Holly, we've never seen these players like this before. They're the biggest smiles. We saw Derek White has his toothpicks now. Biggest smile I've seen all day. Yeah, everybody's got a story. You know, Joe Mazzula, this time last year, when they lose in the playoffs, there's some thought that Missoula should be replaced. We heard some talk about that. We heard some talk last year that Jalen Brown should be traded after he had eight turnovers against the Miami Heat. So it's a redemption. It's a redemption tour and a redemption ride for a lot of these players. And what a way to start the season. Joe Mazzilla taking his staff on duck boats to get used to the history of Boston. And then they're here riding out the season, NBA Finals champs on a duck boat. Now with the team, we see some of our team members here in duck boats passing by. Hey, guys. Yeah. This is unbelievable. What we're witnessing right now is just a sea of green, LaToya. I could not believe how quickly this filled up, and now we're starting to feel it right here on Boylston Street. Oh, the rumble is happening. You're looking live right now as we see the 23 duck boats and the boats proceeding make their way down. Look at Wick right there. He's kissing his beautiful bride. <laughs> they waited a long time. Jason Tatum holding that trophy so proudly. How about Jason Tatum? The, the growth that we've seen from this young man what a leader. into what he's turned into today. He led the team in finals in points, rebounds, and assists. Only five players in NBA history have ever done that. So Jason Tatum, and wasn't even the MVP in the finals, LaToya. Well, because we have a stacked crew. We have at least six players who are all, who would be the absolute stars on any other team. And we're just like, it's our luxury, right? So we're live from Copley Square right now. We see Boylston Street right now just being showered with confetti and we're seeing the flags fly high as the Celtics celebrate 2024 and its NBA title. It's it's hard not to get emotional, emotionally excited, just happy for the city. They've been starving for a Celtics championship for 16 long years and it has been built up. You draft Jalen Brown, you draft Jason Tatum, I you bring muscles, Al Jaylen. Horford back. <laughs> and you see Jalen Brown right there? Yes. His Juice Foundation supported the Bridge Group who basically have won tickets, students, bridge students, to be on the boat with him. These are community kids who get to now stand beside Jalen Brown as he moves through the crowd and experience this wonderful rolling rally. No, and then no question, Latoya, just such a community leader. What he does as a leader on this court, he's in his high 20s, and he's already the leader of this team. 27 years old. 27 years old, and this young man is a finals MVP. You got to give the respect to this man. How about the respect to this entire core? Just a great job that they did all year long from start to finish. The favorites, dominance, and now look at him. Here comes the crowd, and the crowd is getting fired up, LaToya. But we're looking at Derek White right now, and he has the most beautiful smile we've ever seen. <laughs> well, he got that dental work, temporary dental work. We're grateful for all the work that he put on that floor, including his teeth that are all over the garden in the parquet. But now they get to celebrate, and it's so fun to watch these guys. They're embracing it. We're going to take a quick word from our sponsors as we enjoy this rolling rally parade. 